guys. So um, this is from 5.31.23 at 1.26 a.m. I'm not really drawn to always looking at Strong's numbers when I get a time or something like that. But this one, it was impressed upon me to look. And um, at certain times, certain things were happening and they very much coordinate. So um, I got this at 126 and 126 in the Strong's Greek is everlasting. And in the Hebrew is Adma, which is a city near Sodom and Gomorrah and the Dead Sea. So I heard this and this was about me or to me specifically. Awaken, awaken bright one. And at this point, literal massive lightning began and I just sat straight up because we have like blackout curtains. So I don't normally see lightning. Then there was this grumbling of super intense um, thunder that was striking just over and over and over as the lightning was coming. And then um, I heard the Lord God speaks. Then there was 18 to 20 minutes straight of just thunder, no lightning, just thunder, thunder, thunder. Then at 1.54 a.m., 1.54 in Strong's Greek is to ask or to request. In the Hebrew, it is to ask, beg, crave, or desire. So, at this point, this is what I heard. The rain falls, the thunder crashes, yet no one in your generation wonders how. They have been told that mixing climates create thunder and that rain occurs when clouds get too full of moisture and the barometer drops. But yet still, no one in your generation wonders how. They simply take the scientist version as the end of the answers. This lacks wisdom. The wise ask, what's behind this? I am. I have storehouses of snow and I control the sun. Soon I will remove the sun's filter and those left will suffer with its full power. Some who are keen will point out that man has learned how to manipulate the weather. Yes, they have. They've known this for over a century and they grow in their efforts. They seek destruction through weather so they can have power and keep people controllable. But even so, who created the atmosphere to manipulate? Me, the great I am. The third one. Awaken people, I am the Lord God. I created your world in six days. I control all on your earth. I allow the leaders of this world the freedoms to achieve their plans. I no longer stand in their way. Why? Because I choose the time that I take my own and I see how many moments are left once they begin their plans. I will take mine in mere moments. The fourth one, the trap is set. Anointed, awaken, faithful, prepare. And then I heard this huge thunder at the identical time as faithful prepare. The season of extreme is almost upon you. To achieve their plans of complete control, the wealthy and powerful hire people to alter and intensify the weather. My weather being weaponized. Their aim is to move people from place to place and to keep people in a constant state of fear and financial hardship. The wealthy and the powerful intensify the weather and point out changes they wish others to believe about the climate and its effects on weather. Why? They want to eventually restrict movement of all people. They want to make towns into living prisons. They want to make passing out of one town to another something that a person needs permission to do. Their aim at restricting movement is so it is easier to enforce the mark of the beast. If imprisoned in a city, then it can be controlled. Who can buy things with in that city can also be controlled and how much can be purchased at one time and how much it can cost. This is not of me in any way. I love for man to have freedoms and space to enjoy my creations. This is the plan of men to help them bring forth the Antichrist. You may not understand that the wealthy and the powerful are having two faces. One they show to the world and another they show in private. They are more, there are more than you think with power that all believe in the same way. They are pagan and they crave the rise of what you call the Antichrist. They look forward to his rise. 
for they have been manipulated by the evil one to believe this will bring them power and money. They are mere pawns in a game and will become slaves and victims to the Antichrist's efforts. They rejoice at the idea of bringing this evil person into light for all to see. They believe they are special and have special knowledge higher than the average person. In their pride, they have traded their very soul to the evil one. They call the evil one with dark sentences. They are completely in sync with him. The evil one moves them like marionettes. They celebrate the rise of the Antichrist. They celebrate the downfall of man and at that same time, huge growling thunder. They lack any wisdom at all. They will stay on the earth through the wrath to come. They will soon see that I am the Lord God and that they have no power. They are all completely unprepared for what is to come. Many of the two-faced world leaders say they are Christian or Jewish or Catholic, but none are. All are worshipers of the evil one who parades as an angel of light. The evil is so thick on the earth that even those without my wisdom have taken notice of the plans of the powerful and are beginning to prepare for a rebellion. Unfortunately, many of these believe the boastful one who leads the rebellion in America. They believe the face he shows of patriotism and getting the country back. But do not be fooled. All of the powerful also have a second face filled with evil, submitted to the evil one and with the motive of murder and power in their sights. They work together to manipulate the people. As part of the trap, the tools of war shall be seen as criminal for, for they cause destruction. The world government to arise is to make weapons illegal. Yes, the weapons will still exist until the end, but most will be used after the people or hidden. Some places will demand all guns be turned in and destroyed. They will claim a society of peace cannot be achieved while weapons exist. The seeds of this already exist in many countries. This is of course all lies. The real reason is to take away people who would rise against the tyranny. Their aim, total control. Your generation has found themselves in the midst of the most deceitful generation of all time. All news is manipulated. All laws are manipulated. All conflicts between political parties and countries are coordinated to look like conflict. Movies, music, TV shows are all meant to brainwash and make their plans seem acceptable and to bring people to a deep desire for violence, for justice. Hear the word of the Lord. I am the hand of justice, not you. I may take a strategic amount of time, but I always bring justice. Vengeance is mine. Follow the words of my son and return evil with good. Focus on me, sing praises. May I find you in joy, regardless of what goes on in your world. Do not allow your mind to be manipulated by what the team of evil persons wishes to place in the public as news. Do not allow your mind to be reshaped by TV, movies, and music. That is easy to manipulate by the enemy. Step away from the world. Sink into me by reading, praying, and worshiping. Some say, but I work in a secular place, or, oh, I work with only non-Christians. How can I separate from the world? I say even more so. The more surrounded you are by the enemy, the more you need to pray and stay in my presence. When you read my words, it makes you invincible to the enemy. When you sing praises, it pushes back the enemy. When you pray, it is hidden from them. Pray aggressively against the enemy. Pray the truth that I am God, that there is no one above me. Pray and ask that I bind and remove the enemy before and around you. Be sincere. If needed, trade sleep for prayer. Trade sleep for time alone in my presence. I will sustain you. Remember this, through my power, you can change the spiritual environment around you. You do not have to submit to allowing their presence. When you drive, live, work, shop, or visit a place that is infested with the enemy, pray them out of your presence. 
my mighty angels will be sent to remove them when you pray in full faith. This is war. Take back the grounds you walk upon while you are still on this earth. Get a team, pray for each other, recapture your home. To recapture your home, you must stop inviting the enemy in via the media, music, books, and the like. Your home should be a spiritual place of rest. This only occurs when I am the central focus. Some of you that live with others, you have no control over what they bring into the home. They bring in evil with their games, TV, music, and you feel defeated. How can you stop the evil influence from reaching you when it has a steady flow? First, pray for me to change them. Second, you be the example and stop consuming it. When it is on, pray against its ability to influence and pray against its ability to bring in evil. You are a child of the King. Know now that if you ask in full faith, I begin working to help you. I begin to, I begin working to change. I begin working to remove evil. But you, the one requesting this, need to have a pure heart. You need to walk away from it yourself. You need to learn to meet with me daily and learn of me. Make your office, your room, the chair you use, the porch, or whatever small space you have and claim as your own space on this earth, meet me there. I will make it a safe and holy place. I will expand my reach safely around you, growing it. As you continue in your faithfulness, praying night and day, I will institute change. You will see it. Every day you walk, ride, or drive, pray. Take the areas you pass by for me. Ask that I make the spaces safe spaces for you. Ask that I send my angels to remove the evil and the darkness that dwell there. Pray the darkness away and out of your areas as you tread with all determination and authority and with full faith. The changes will surely occur. Few in your generation know this. The anointed know this. Many faithful know this, but most do not know this. They bumble along in life to be tossed about to and fro by the enemy as if they hold no power. All you have to do is ask and ask with full faith and be consistent and sincere. Your generation does not know how thick the darkness is because this is the only time in life in which you have lived. I have seen all times, I know this. Because you have been surrounded by darkness for a lifetime, many of you do not even see that you need to rid it from your spaces. Each home, way of travel and city, each path taken should belong to us, the Christians, because we have significantly more power than the darkness. But those of you on the earth must request it. The darkness exists in such might right now because not enough of you have been consistent in praying against it. Don't live mingled with the darkness. It weakens you and makes you an easy target. Be bold, cry out to me, and I will bring you assistance. The kings have their plans. They use the wealthy and the powerful to achieve it. But if you cry out to me, their plans can and will fail. The Antichrist will still arise, but not how they think. Do not fear their ways. Do not listen to their lies. Pray against evil and pray for the spread of the gospel. There is no reason but manipulation to be defeated already. There is no reason for Christians to be affected by the king's plans. Do you not think I can provide safety? Do you not think I can move mine for you? Do you not think I can keep your property safe? Do you not think I can provide extra gas or multiply food? I am God. I can and will provide for my own. Ask and you shall receive. I love to help. This is a silent generation that rarely cries out to me. Cry out to me. I can help you clear the evil no matter how bad it looks. Believe in me. Never fear when you have God on your side. It does not matter what evil and manipulation are aimed at you. Remember who you are. Fifth one. Awaken Christians. You are on the winning side of the war. Fight. Fight in prayer. Pray without ceasing. Talk to me all day long. Pray against evil all day long. Keep on. Keep your armor on. Be like David. Run at the giant with all confidence and throw the stone. Take him down. Throw a stone, you say? 
An effective prayer is much like a well-placed stone against the forehead of the enemy. How, you say? Because when I hear you in full faith, I set my hand in action in your favor. Be like David. If you do not know how to pray, read the prayers throughout the Bible. There are many. Do not read them back to me and assume this to be your prayer. The prayers are recorded to teach you what I expect, not a model for vain repetition. Look at the people in the past, how they prayed. They prayed with praise and honor toward me. They prayed in full faith and trust. They spoke their heart to me. Talk with me. I am right here beside you, waiting to listen. I long to hear your voice. Remember this, church. The power of the blood of the Lamb, my son Jesus, overcomes all evil, overcomes all darkness, overcomes all delusions, overcomes all strongholds, overcomes all demons. Jesus' blood overcomes the world. There is power in his name. There is power in his words. Read his words. Sixth one. Awaken, church. It is time to rise up in prayer and stomp the evil one and their plans down in prayer. Awaken. Rise up. The time is now. Pray without ceasing. Begin today. So I hope you find that helpful and encouraging, and I'll see you next time.